Welcome back. We've got just a few minutes remaining in the show, and, and even though we talked about just about everything that's going to be happening at Crawdad Days this year, there wasn't really anyone here to talk about the talent competition. And, and, that would and we're be putting you. that on, and I, I guess I could ask myself questions, but we'll, we'll just talk you? about it. Okay. What's, what's it going to be all about? Well, I don't know. Yeah, why don't you tell us what it's going to be about, Dan? Damn. Well, last year, I'll tell you a little bit of history about it. We, we had put on a couple events uh, the previous year, a talent competition, mm -hmm. and we did it out at BNC Church, and those were quite successful. A and then last, uh, I think last year when we were doing our Crawdad Days meeting, uh, someone mentioned, why don't we do a talent show, and, and they convinced me to do it. I really didn't want to. And it was one of those last-minute decisions, and we and we we did, and it turned out to it be, was, as you know, a, a great success. Well, I think we had 23 or 24 entries, and it was a four-hour solid, long exactly. event, long event. But uh, what was nice about it is it kept people there in the park, and as their whoever was uh, entertaining, their families would come in, and it kept it kept uh, activity going. They didn't necessarily going. want to leave, too, because you want they to wanted see to know what your competition who the winner was. is, so that and was a good draw. Yeah, and it was, uh, uh, Rathage and Solis ended up with first place, and I can't remember the second and third place. We places, have some but... amazing talent in this area, <clears throat> and it's nice to have a place to showcase that talent, and then if you can win a competition, mm -hmm. it's even icing on the cake. Yeah, so. and, and what, what I like about it, even though there's a $30 entry fee, uh, for each act, and if there's more than three in a group, that's five dollars additional. What what happens is you get a captive audience to play to. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you get the, the professional lighting, you get professional sound, and actually we're videotaping the event too. Plus, plus we'll be uh, broadcasting live on on all of our stations. So in that itself, I mean, you're getting a bonus just by paying to to perform in in front of somebody, and and if you're good enough, you'll you'll win some prize money. Who's going to do the lighting and the sound? I don't know the company's name. JTH Audio. JTH okay. Audio. I think they're out of uh, Fayetteville. Fayetteville. Okay. Yeah, they've been Just doing curious. this for several years. Were they who did it last year? <clears throat> yeah, okay. and they're, they're a professional group and uh, we had some threat of rain last year and I called them up and I said, are, are you guys still planning to come? I mean, we got, it's, it's, it's going to be raining and thundering out here and he goes, we're coming rain or shine. So I mean, they're real right. troopers. We've got some great judges lined up as well, don't we? We do. Do you want me to, to announce those? Yeah, I, well, do. I think you should. We have Lisa Johnson from uh, KBC and Radio. We have Michael Mahoney from the college. He's uh, the drama director so out of the confirmed. college. Yes, he Good. did confirm. Okay. And then uh, who was the third one? I've just uh, lost my mind here. I don't know. I'll Sorry, to, I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to get back oh, well, to you. Oh, well, okay. We've got some good judges. <laughs> We've got excellent judges, yeah. and all of them are, are qualified to, to judge. Right. And they probably each have their own little area of expertise, and all together mm -hmm. they can mm -hmm. form a great opinion, and they maybe can. you'll be the winner if you've registered. And if you have any talent. Now, what, last year we had tap dancing. We had clogging. clogging we had, uh, uh, let's see, we had uh, vocal singing talents. We had groups. We had... Um, we didn't have any Anywhere magic shows Anywhere from country or to, I think we had some, probably some contemporary Christian type mm -hmm. music and rock and like Rathage and Solace, who's yeah. pretty alternative rock, They were pretty, say, pretty so. alternative. Oh, Rob McBee. He's oh, going to okay. be our okay, third good. judge. Sorry about that, from KHOZ Radio. All right, wonderful. Uh, but we want to let people know that the, the um, registration forms are at crawdaddays.org or you can go to our website at hometowntv.net and you can... Get those there, fill them out, and get them to us before the 17th of next week. I think that's a Wednesday or Thursday. And age group, we're splitting those up in from up to uh, up to 12, and then 13 and above. So there'd be two categories of winners. We had a lot of kids last year. We that did, I and they were up something. against exactly. They were up yeah, against the, the adults. The big boys. So I so. think that's that's a good idea. But we want you to enter, and we want you to enter uh, uh, immediately. I know a lot of people cr procrastinate, wait to the last minute, but uh, the sooner you get your entry in, the sooner you'll uh, get a place in the show. He's giving you the website, but if you want additional information, you can sure call the studio at seven four one four eight nine one. All right. We'd like to thank everyone for being on the show today uh, for this special edition of uh, 726 Spotlighting Crawdad Days. May 20th and 21st. Be there. Or be square. Or be square. We'll see you next time.